In the previous video, we did a number of exercises based on a data frame that we manually created. In this one, we will use a data frame that comes inbuilt in R. Actually, it comes in a package called datasets that can be accessed using the command library datasets. Running this command, we will have access to all the datasets that are available in this package and how to view them is using this command called help. When we run this, a new tab opens here and that shows all the data sets that are available. So the data frame that we will use is called US arrests, this one. So this is how the data set looks. If you wish to get more help, I mean find out more about US arrests, we can search for it. The help page opens up and these are the parameters. The four columns we have that is murder, assault, urban pop and rape are numeric values and they stand for murder arrests per 100,000 population. Coming back to our exercise, I will bring this back to normal size, close this. So the first challenge is from US arrest data set, extract 25% of the states with least arrest due to murder. In other words, get the first quartile of states that has the least arrest due to murder. I will pause the video for now for you to give it a shot. After that, I will show you how to solve it. Good luck. Hope that went well. How I would solve it is, I will take USRS and try to sort it first. This would be the sorted DF. And it contains the states in sorted order for murder. Now, out of this, I need to get the first 25% of rows. So num rows will contain the 25% of the total number of rows that is 12.5. I'm rounding it up in this part so that it will become 13 and we get the top 25 percentile with the least arrest for murder. So that's the first challenge. The second challenge is from US arrests. I will clear the screen and show US arrests. From this data set, extract those states whose assault values are greater than 200 or the rape values is greater than 20. If either of these two conditions satisfy, those states should be extracted. That's the second and final challenge for this video. Good luck. Alright, hope you managed that. How I would have done it is, which, this is the first condition within which, the second condition is, if either of these two conditions satisfy, we will capture those row indices in this variable. Now row indices contains all these rows that will satisfy that. From that we will subset. Now if we look at this, assault here it is greater than 200. All these are greater than 200. In this case, Hawaii this is less than 200 but rape is greater than 20. So all of them will satisfy either of these two conditions. Congratulations if you got both of them right. In the next one, we will learn about binning data.